Our next guest shattered records earlier this week when he performed the first ever triple back flip on a motocross bike. Wow, I'm impressed already. Yeah. Joining us now to talk about his <laughs> unprecedented stunt is world champion freestyle motocross rider Josh Sheehan. All Josh, right. Welcome. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for being here. And you're Thanks in one piece. Me. Yeah, it feels really good to be healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. So you're a brave man, clearly, but are you a sane man? What would make you do something like this? Sane, I'm calculated. You're calculated. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's risks out there, but the rewards have to, to make up for it. All right, well, let's talk about this major stunt. We're going to take a look at it, and then we'll discuss some more, sure. okay? when you're performing something like that, something so dangerous. It's, it's funny actually, I think the adrenaline helps you a lot, but you, you, you take in a fair bit when you're rotating up there. It's, you know, it's, it's pretty scary, you can't, can't afford to crash something like that. So. But are you allowed to be afraid? Uh, I guess, afra yeah, I think everyone has fear, but it's just how we deal with that fear that allows us to do what we do. Oh. Okay, so how did you feel once you landed, once you stuck it? Well, once I landed, that was, you know, I, I first started a year and a half ago mm -hmm. doing this jump with Travis. So to land that after all that time is a massive relief. It's you know exciting. It's <laughs> to proud. It's just sort of everything. Yeah. And I had friends there. It was just a, ho a whole lot of feelings. It was you know, I was just blown away that I, that I finally got there. It was finished, and I was safe and happy, and had friends and. Friends, you know, local friends and yeah. friends from Australia there to celebrate with me. That's so awesome. But do you ever allow yourself to think about the fact that you may not walk away alive from a stunt like this? Yeah, that's definitely that definitely plays on your mind, but mm -hmm. you can't afford to dwell on that stuff. That's why we practice, while we train. Uh, we had uh, several stages of, of learning. There was, you know, we had a, a quite a large airbag up on a, you know, like a step up, so you don't fall as far as you climb. And we played around with eight, ten different ramp designs to get one that allowed me to rotate fast enough. Okay, but how do you, do you just keep going at it? Like, do you practice one flip and then two flip? Like, do you, are you have a harness or what? Pretty much. We uh, had this ramp. Uh -huh. it, it was crazy, but the very first time I hit the ramp, it was rock, paper, scissors with Travis and Tom Pichez, and I lost <laughs> it, so I had to jump first. Are you serious? But we just, you know, there's, we'd get pretty close, you know, I guess experience and riding, get in the ballpark area, and, mm -hmm. you know, we, we make some changes start off with just straight jump, then we get to a jump that feels okay, then we start mm -hmm. flipping, double flipping. When it's a steep ramp like that, it's quite easy to double flip, but to go from two to three flips, that was a big, a big mental step, a, a challenging one, you know, it's something that I'd never done before, so it was yeah. a tough one to commit to. And nobody's ever done it before, right? Most no, people that's had right. considered this impossible. What made you think <laughs> that you could actually pull this off? Uh, I thought it was impossible a few years ago too, mm -hmm. but Travis, he uh, he started the double flip and he started practicing or you know trying to do the triple flip about four years ago now. So I think with his crazy mentality and mm -hmm. the thought of what's possible, what's possible, you know, we just had to go and try it and peer pressure. Uh -huh. <laughs> peer pressure. It was more like uh, he gave me the idea and I just w you know, was happy to go along with it. And yeah. well, how many times did you actually stick the landing before you did it publicly in front of all the cameras? Onto that landing. None. Uh, that was the first time? Yeah. So uh, I had ridden away from a bunch, but from that scaffolding landing we had, we had a bag jump, airbag set up on top of that landing. So that was the safest thing we could do without actually jumping to a landing. So I could still afford to jump off the bike and land on the airbag, slide down. But I could also, if I landed, Here triple, I could land it and ride out of it. So, How many bones you right have you broken over the years? I'm only at eight or nine, maybe only ten. Only eight or nine, what maybe have you ten. Broken? Show, which ones have you uh, broken? Well, that, the first two I did were wrists. Oh. A good couple of scars, especially when they're healing and your wrist doesn't move and you have to try and you know, get some change off someone. There's yeah. a nice bright purple scar. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> but oh, uh, jaw, collarbone twice, some shoulder reconstructions. 
a heel bone, C7 vertebrate. And Not, why do you do this again? <laughs> <laughs> I think we all do it because we love it. Yeah. Now, how did you get into this world? I just, I grew up on a farm, you know, one of those active boys, my uh -huh. brother and I, and dad was active, I guess, so we just loved sports and loved extreme things, anything, I guess, stupid, pushing the limits. So I always loved cars and bikes and just doing stunts on bikes, showing off, I guess, was just something that appealed to me. Wow, and now you're showing more people in the Nitro Circus Tour. Tell us about that. Yeah, that's right. Uh, pretty excited. Yeah. Uh, on the 5th of May, we start off in Tampa, Florida. <clears throat> that's the start of the US tour, and then we go straight into Europe after that for the Moto Mayhem Tour. And we come back to US again, and get some more Cali and uh, some Canada shows. That's uh, October, November, yeah. so we've got a big, big, big year of touring coming up. Will you be doing this stunt in those tours or totally different stunts? No, I'll be doing double backflip at, okay. at okay. a lot of the shows. But That's easy. Yeah, right. <laughs> Come on, you've already done a triple. Why go back to a double? A double's scary enough. A triple, okay, fair enough. Yeah, just that one setup is, yeah. uh, you know, I get about 90 foot high off the ground. The setup alone is about 60 foot. Wow. So wow. it'd be crazy just to replicate that setup. Please be safe. We'll yes. keep you in our yes. prayers. Yes. Come, come back in one piece, piece yes. please. <laughs> Number one priority. All right. All right. Break four backs, come back. Yeah. All right. And you come back too. We'll be back with more Rise Entertainment 360.